Um, but before we get out of here, I didn't put it in here. Give me one second. Yeah, I didn't have a chance to, but I also want to talk about Jalen Brunson. I usually have a uh, section called sports motivation. Haven't done it in a while, but um, I read a, just a, you know, meme talking about Jalen Brunson talking about his dad. And uh, he says, I remember being with him on a bike while he's running in one of those sweats, trash bag suits in the summer, then shoots, then pick up five, six times a week. This is what he did to be on eight unguaranteed contracts, seeing that, understanding how hard he had to work. That's how hard I had to work. And I remember, I don't know if you guys seen the clip of his dad. I guess his mom was in the background, you know, training him to, you know, as a young kid to become a player. And as you can see. To help Jalen, he would do it. I know that Rick pushed him because he wanted to be pushed. Rick just never gave up on him. Good. Better. One. It's not fast enough. No follow through, not fast enough. Better. Automatic comes up here. So, here, spread. Here, go up. Uh, full speed. Here, jump. Take you into your shot. Go. Everything you do has to be legit. Habits. Tired is for the weak. Mentally strong. He's become a great player. He's the new guy. I root for him a lot. Uh, you know, Isaiah Thomas, my all-time favorite. He reminds me of him a lot, and I think he can bring a title to New York. But. You know, it just shows as far as sports motivation, you got to put the hard work in. You got to believe in yourself, good people in your corner. But also when you're, you know, when I do the sports motivation um, segment, the reason I do it is because when I was growing up, that's how I really got into sports, reading quotes. And then from there, I got into sports. But um, in this case, you know, he, when you got people in your corner that you can look up to that, you know, show you greatness you don't have to look further than anywhere else but there you know beyond the lord himself you got your actual parents uh guardians family members you know big cousins or anything like that aunts uncles even you know like a brother and sister if they're showing you greatness and showing you great leadership you don't have to go any further than that that's you know i wanted to take out of the sports motivation you know show you show love to your loved ones too we don't always have to just take it from outside of the, the house source take it from inside the house especially when they're great people and as you can see rick brunson greatness i mean is he the all-star his son was no special but special moment special day uh for both of us to be in the gym with you all those years to watch you work to get better and we used to talk about you being an all-star you being an nba player you at times didn't have belief but always believed in you but you kept pushing and we said this from day one, the magic is in the work. You put all the work in, all the hours in to make yourself great. And as a father, I couldn't be more proud. There were times when you wanted to be like me. And now at this point, I wish I could be like you when I was your age. I love you. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations for making your first All-Star game. Just know, but to to make it in the league that long, all those contracts unguaranteed, to provide for his family and live his dream, that's a lot of, that's greatness right there. And he passed it on to his son who's taking it even further. So um, shout out to him and maybe Bronny will do the same. I don't know. I know his dad, his dad is Bron, but we'll see. But let me know in the comment section, guys. I am out of here. 